This technique is called snaking town, and we learn it against a double-handed push. There's a lot of different variations, like many of these techniques. Um, I'm just gonna go over our variation for this dojo, because I've added a little shallow tempo into this technique. So as the push is coming in, my left leg is retreating back to an angle. I'm using an inward-downward block with my right arm, which is going after, specifically, my opponent's left arm. It's meant to cross uh, body check that arm, okay? So hitting it across their body. And that would help me uh, have the ability to grab onto their right arm, which you'll see in a couple seconds. So the left leg steps back as I snake around their arms, hitting their left arm with an inward downward forearm block, and then traveling underneath their right arm, catching at the wrist as I cat up with my right leg. The left arm is gonna go over the top and use a dragon's trap, okay, which I'll explain on Sensei Gate. I'm gonna throw a front kick, pulling them in to the floating ribs or groin. I'm then gonna land forward and wing strike, opening them up on the inside of their right arm. Okay, I wing strike the right arm. While looking over my right shoulder, I'm gonna do kind of a mini leg or knee kick, low to the, uh, uh, even the groin, uh, with my left leg. So I go low with my left, kick, and then I land the left down and then kick the right high. Cross out, step back, on guard. That's one variation of it. At another angle, I'll give you a different variation for the ending, okay? Left leg steps off the line. I use my inward downward block. My right arm snakes around. I hit my dragon's trap. I pull them into the front kick. I land, I open them up with a wing. I then look over my left shoulder with a spinning full back kick. Left, land, look over my right shoulder, and if they're coming back, I kick them with the right crossover on the left. The first variation would be a little more uh, closer to the textbook, where it's almost like a chicken kick, where you kick and then hop kick with the right. I like the practical one with the spinning left back kick and the right kick. So you can de definitely explore both variations. Let's go ahead and get some safety. So snaking town. As he comes in for the push, as I was saying, I'm going after his left arm. That's primary for me, okay? It's definitely in the forefront. So from here, I knock that arm out of the way, which then gives me the ability to grab and trap that arm, okay? So let's open this part up for him so they can see this side. As he comes in slow, I block, my right hand snakes up underneath as I take my left hand and control the arm with a dragon's trap. Okay, nice and fast, he comes in, boom, catch. Now from here, I throw my sock kick to the ribs, I open him up with the wing, and again, the traditional way would be low kick to the groin or the knee, and then pop up to the chest for a right kick, looking over my right shoulder the entire time, okay? The other version I showed you would be block, catch, kick, open them up, immediately into a full spinning left kick, and if it keeps on coming, back kick. Cross out, on guard. Okay, two different versions there. The most important part of that is getting good at the beginning. As my body is being pushed back, I've got to catch. And when I catch my balance there, I trap and I kick. Okay, so something to work on, cool little technique, snaking town.